it's easy to customize the current weather display on your WeatherLink console. Whether this is your first Davis station and console, or if you're a longtime Davis fan and have owned multiple Davis weather stations and consoles, the main major upgrade of the new WeatherLink console is that you can now customize almost the entire display. It's easy to do, and let me walk you through how to do it. At the top center of the screen, there's a home icon that I'm going to tap. And from there, I'm going to tap this little person icon in the upper right corner of the screen. And from there, there's a left-hand sidebar, and I'm going to tap on Customize Display. Now, we have a couple different layouts here under Customize Display. Most of our customers like the 2x3 display because that shows the most weather information on the WeatherLink console. But if you need super giant print on your display and display fewer weather variables, we do have a 2x2 display that can make that super giant print if you need it. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to stick with the 2x3 display. We also have a high contrast mode that you can turn on or off. Uh, it's like a dark mode that really makes the weather variables pop. So if you're in an environment and need that, we have that capability. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to leave it off. And then make sure after you've tapped Customize Display on the left-hand side that you also come up here on the right-hand side and tap Customize Display. And this takes you to the various tiles that you can customize. Now, I'm not going to customize all the different tiles in this uh, video. That would take a little bit of time. But I'm going to highlight a few and uh, just show you how easy it is to customize these. So I'm going to start with the bottom left tile and I'm going to tap on this edit button here. And your various weather variables are here uh, on another little left hand sidebar under bottom left tile. I'm going to select temperature and humidity. And uh, I already had my outside temperature displayed, so I want my indoor temperature and humidity displayed. So I'm gonna scroll up on the console until I get there. Uh, here's this inside temperature and humidity. I like this one. So I'm gonna tap on it. It's gonna ask you to select a sensor for the inside temperature. Since uh, we're just using the console's sensors on this one, it's just pulling in my console. If you have just a single ISS, you're just gonna see your single ISS uh, in your transmitter here. If you have multiple transmitting stations with various sensors, so various temperature, uh, leaf wetness, soil moisture, that type of thing, all your transmitting stations are going to display on the list if uh, it's covered by that weather variable. If you have a Vantage Pro 2 Plus and have solar radiation and UV, you can pull that in as well uh, with your solar radiation and UV sensors. Here, I'm going to select Next, and then it's gonna ask for Humidity, and then I'm gonna tap Save. Uh, the other one I want to customize that I really love about the WeatherLink console is if you have our air quality sensor, the AirLink, you can now display AirLink data on your WeatherLink console as well. So I'm going to customize the top right tile. Right now I have it set to my solar radiation and UV from my Vantage Pro 2 Plus, but I'm going to select air quality here on the left-hand sidebar, and I'm going to scroll up. I like this one that shows me the current air quality and the daily high air quality, so that way I can track not only what the current air quality is, but how high the air quality uh, got up to. So I'm going to tap on this one. As you can see, I have multiple AirLink air quality sensors connected to my WeatherLink account, uh, and so I can pick which one I want. I've got an outdoor one and I've got a couple of indoor ones. Uh, for the purposes of this demo, I need to be tracking the outdoor air quality if I'm going to head out and take a walk or uh, head out and run errands and see what the air quality is. So I'm going to tap on my outdoor one and then tap on save. 
Uh, the other neat little tile that I want to show you how to customize are those little dots that you see on the screen because they can display some really useful at a glance information. So I'm going to scroll down to one of those. I'm going to edit this one that has currently has the moon phase on it. And these are the different bubbles that you can customize here. So you can customize things like temperature and heat index. Uh, if you have the air link, you can display air quality uh, in the form of a color scale, which is pretty neat. Uh, since I've got a Vantage Pro 2 Plus, I want to display the UV index. It's been getting kind of hot outside lately. Uh, if I'm going to go out for a walk or run errands, maybe I need to know what the UV index is before I go. As you can see, it displays a color scale that's really easy to understand. Uh, so then I'm just going to tap on next and it's going to say what sensor for my UV and I'm going to tap my Vantage Pro 2 Plus uh, and then tap on save. And then from there, if I want to preview the changes that I've made uh, live, I can tap on live preview. And you can see here I've added my inside temperature and humidity and I've added my uh, current and daily air quality. And then I've also added that UV index as well. So you can see the changes that you've made. Uh, one final uh, tile that I just want to briefly show you how to edit is that center wind display. And so if you tap on that, you can display the wind uh, either in uh, degrees or cardinal direction. We've had some pilots that have uh, emailed in or contacted us about that. And that is how you would make the change on the Weatherlink console there. So once you have your changes exactly the way you want them, you can back out of the screen and go back to select layout if you want. And then when you're done, you just simply tap to go back to your current weather display. And that's going to show you the changes that you've made. So there you can see my inside temperature and inside humidity, my current and daily high air quality, my UV index, as well as all the changes I've made before I uh, produce this video. So play around with customizing this display to your heart's content, uh, mix and match all sorts of weather variables and have a lot of fun doing it. Feel free to send us feedback if there's any particular weather variables or combinations of weather variables you'd like to see on the WeatherLink display, let us know so we can take that into consideration. But for the most part, just have fun and enjoy uh, the full customization that you get out of your WeatherLink display.